Hi, my name is Dr. Lexi Wang. I'm a facial plastic surgeon at West End Plastic Surgery in Washington, DC. On today's episode of On the Nose, face the facts, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about valve collapse. So there are two valves in the nose. There's the external nasal valve, and then, which is kind of right around here. And then you have the internal nasal valve, which is a little bit on the inside in here. I can't really show you, but these are two areas where we as ENT doctors study the flow of air through the nose. And they are very commonly a source of nasal obstruction that one might not realize. Um, and that usually sometimes at rest, you don't really have problems with it but especially when you're exercising and breathing really hard or sometimes when you're sleeping some of that stuff acts up and that is almost always due to a valve issue a very common way you can check to see if you have valve issues is when you actually just breathe in um, you actually see collapsing either right here or right here. And a way you can check that you might benefit from a valve repair type of surgery is if you stretch out your cheeks like that i.e. with a breathe right strip or something like that, and you find that you actually breathe better. That probably means that you have some kind of valve collapse and you would benefit from a valve supporting type of surgery, which can be a rhinoplasty. Why might you have this? Some people just are kind of already born with kind of poor integrity of their cartilage to begin with. So it's not doing a very good job of just kind of holding open the valve. Another common reason is due to just a deviated septum. So a deviated septum can cause a valve issue, um, but sometimes you can also have a straight septum and still have valve issues. So it's very important when you're getting some kind of diagnosis of nasal obstruction that your surgeon, be it an ENT or facial plastic surgeon, can figure out which is actually causing the problem. Sometimes it's both. Um, and then the last common way you can get valve issues actually is because you've had previous nose surgery and someone has been a little bit too aggressive with the cartilages of your nose. And they have perhaps been trying to give you a very small, cute little nose and then took away too much cartilage and now you don't have support anymore and everything's falling in, a la Michael Jackson. So, you have to go to someone who's a specialist when you're dealing with the nose. This is why um, the nose and rhinoplasty are often considered some of the hardest surgeries to do by surgeons just generally in the field because there is so much that we are trying to get right in terms of how it looks and how it functions. Make sure you go to an expert. Um, but these are all the things you need to know about nasal valve surgery. There are thousands of techniques to support the nasal valve. Some of them involve using cartilage, some of them involve using implants, but whatever it is, if you're going to seek some expertise, make sure you look for someone who knows what they're talking about and they can appropriately diagnose your nasal obstructive symptoms. My name is Dr. Lexi Wang. I'm a facial plastic surgeon at West End Plastic Surgery, and I will see you guys next time on Face the Facts.